Are you allergic to love? Just an open question. Today's vlog day, 1012. Good morning and welcome to day 12 of my 20 and 20 here in Paris. Today I'm in Paris's 12th arrondissement. Well, I've been walking through a passageway that I've never taken before and I'm on my way to have coffee at a place I've never been before. The 12th is one of those spots that has a lot of really fun photo locations. We're gonna go visit some of those today, some really fun places to go visit and check out if you're here, but not a lot of recommendations for food and for coffee. I do have a bunch of recommendations for places to go for a drink, some specialty cocktail spots. So we're gonna try a new place for coffee today. I'm going to meet Kate from Dear Everest. Right now she's gonna join me and lend some of her photographic genius to the vlog today. We will have some fun wandering around. Gonna go see a couple of cool spots like the Coulet Verte and Rue Cremieux among others. And this, this, uh, this passageway is actually really fun. It's a lot of uh, street art. I really love this guy, I think he's hilarious. There's a lot of really good stuff down here. But no space invaders, what the heck? Anyway, that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, the 20 and 20. I didn't explain what a 20 and 20 was. The 20 and 20 is basically, Paris has 20 around his months and I'm spending a day in each, making a video in each to just give you an idea, a feel for what's in each, what the spirit of the around his months is or are. And uh, yeah, today's day 12 in the 12th around his month. Let's get coffee. Oh, is it still filming? <laughs> it was filming when you stepped oh, in front geez. of it. We have different priorities, Kate and I. She saw this building and wanted to take a photo. We're doing that really quick. Then we're gonna go to Rue Cremieux. But the coffee there was nice. We had a nice chat. It's a good spot. Oh, now it's sunny and warm. I'm gonna live in one of those top floor apartments one day. And I'm gonna own one of the top floor of one of these entire buildings one day. <laughs> you own the building, can I just rent one apartment? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not the whole building, I just want the top floor. The 12th is not particularly big. There's actually, it's not the smallest around his mount by any stretch, but not very big. There's a spot that I'm gonna go to for lunch under the Coulet Verte. If you're not sure what the Coulet Verte is, I'll explain that here in a minute. You can also go see it in the uh, spring Instagram video that I made with L and M. That'll be a fun little walk. You can see it down here. The arch down at the end of this street is the Coulet Verte, so there's part of it. And Rue Cremieux is just on the other side. So she's never been to Rue Cremieux before. So we're gonna go check that out together. Gotta go see that. And then uh, and then when we part ways, I'll go to the Coulet Verte and show you that on my own. Basically the 12th starts at the Bastille roundabout and makes its way all the way to the Eastern border of the city and spreads out. Cause one of the fun things, lesser known facts about Paris is that Paris has claimed two parks that's outside the periphery of its boundaries, stealing territory as best it can. So if you go into Bois de Boulogne, which is on the outside of the 16th, or if you go to the parks in Vincennes, just on outside the 12th, you're still technically in Paris, even though kind of really not in Paris anymore. Rue Cremieux. This is your first time here? You've never been here before? Yeah, I've never been here. How long have you lived here? Three years. Three years? Three years. <laughs> that's impressive to me, actually. But I've seen it on Instagram like 8,000 times. Right. That's, and that's, the, that's, that's basically where the street actually exists.
And that was her first experience with the glorious Rue Cremieux. It is one of those places that uh, I think I, I, I shared this, I shared about this on the video we made about taking photos there, but it does engender a lot of weird moments and there is Club Cremieux on Instagram, which is hilarious uh, and just shows people taking kind of awkward photos or doing things maybe they shouldn't be doing on that poor street where people do live, so do respect it. But of course, if you don't follow Dear Everest, Kate, on Instagram, you should go do that. She's got a really nice style and she's also a grad student here getting her PhD, so she's got to go do student-y things and I'm going to go check out Garde Lyon really quickly and then grab lunch because I'm really hungry. Garde Lyon, while not necessarily in and of itself a grand tourist destination, is a beautiful train station that does have a restaurant in it that is in my guide that is kind of a famous date spot. So if you're looking to take someone on a date and you happen to be in this area, Garde Lyon, not necessarily a bad option. Again, I wouldn't necessarily come here just to hang out, but it is fun to go into a train station every once in a while, if for no other reason, to imagine all the places that you could be going. And which for me, coincidentally, I do need to make a trip to Lyon soon. Will I make it from here? Only time will tell. Le Tremble, oh wow, they finished construction. Le Tremble is that spot that I was talking about that is like the famous date spot. Lovely restaurant inside. Watch the world pass you by. That's just, that's in my guide, it's a tip. Didn't know you could eat under the coulée verte. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And then we can go for a stroll above it. Well, above, above the restaurant on the coulée verte. You'll see, that I just, I'm really hungry. No chicken fingers, but this'll do and I am so ready for it. was tasty. Look at these. There's some really fun shops underneath the Coulée Verte. One of the things a lot of people don't realize, Coulée Verte basically is an, it's an old train line that they converted into a park. It's the train line that inspired the High Line in New York. And underneath it, in a lot of these arches, are some galleries, shops, really cool stuff, not just a restaurant. Schmancy books and boxes, and who even knows what's in all this stuff. So I'm gonna go up and show you what the Coulée Verte looks like. Makes for a very nice stroll. A little bit crowded on weekends, but otherwise really, really chill. Don't just go above the Coulée Verte, go below it as well. Makes for, it, may, it would make for a nice day. It makes for a nice day. Nice stroll. You can go up on the very far end and then there are a couple of stairwells like this one that you can walk up as well. You know, which makes it nice if you don't want to walk the whole length of it. You don't have to. You can always bail in the middle. As you can see, it's, I was about, to, I was just about to say, it's actually kind of quieter up here. You can still hear the traffic, it's true, but it is chill, ambulances notwithstanding. Great spot to come, sit, pick a bench, have your lunch, read a book. Come up here and read a book. It's one of the things I've been wanting to do more of lately too, is read books. I've actually been watching, I watched a fantastic documentary yesterday made by Max Joseph. If you know him through Casey Neistat probably, he's a friend of Casey's, but made a fantastic documentary about bookstores, reading books, reading more books. And I've actually picked up a few books recently and it got me excited to keep reading. So, and Kate gave me a new book to read. So I've got lots of books on the uh, docket for the reading, but this is a wonderful spot to come. Grab a coffee. I was gonna, harder to grab a coffee and walk over here obviously, because this neighborhood's a little bit more devoid of the coffee, but hop on up here, grab a bench, sit, read, watch the clouds go by, enjoy some greenery, and you know, get out of the hustle and bustle for a minute. It's fantastic. You can be elevated above it. That's gonna do it for me for the 12th today. Hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of a flavor. Here's one of those uh, stairways down. Hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of a flavor of the 12th today, my 20 and 20. Day 12 tomorrow is gonna be the 13th, obviously. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for that. And a lot of discovery because I don't really know the 13th as well. I'm looking forward to exploring it. And we'll have Pushan with us to show us a little bit more of the 13th because he knows it better than I do. And it'll be fun just to wander together. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for that.
Bonus, the 12th is supposedly home to the best baguette in Paris. They won the award this year, the annual, the 25th annual award. Doesn't look like they're owning it, but uh, Cheryl sent me a note to that. Thanks, Cheryl. So we're gonna buy a baguette and give it a try. We'll let you know. Will you be offended if I bite the end off? No, I, I will also totally snack on this. <laughs> Thank you. Here's a good baguette. Hope you enjoyed the 12th.